It seems to be a fad these days to get rid of people from the past. Sir Winston Churchill, bring down his statue. Sir Johnny MacDonald, he was a bum. Ryerson from Ryerson University, a great educator, and people want to erase his name, and they did from the university. Well, Gordon Walker is a former cabinet minister and a businessman and a smart guy, and he joins me right now because he wants to stop that. Am I correct? Parts of it. Okay. Can tell me why you think we should keep names and how, what you're doing about it. Well, first of all, uh, some of us got concerned with what we saw happening with statues, with street names, with building names, and things of that sort. A number of us, a bunch of people who were formerly political, right. and so they crossed many parties, so we cross all parties, in fact, and also a bunch of historians, some very professional historians, and of course a bunch of us who think we're historians, where maybe we are history, in fact. But the fact is that uh, the tearing down of some of our historical personages that go back in some cases, a couple hundred years or back, maybe even a hundred years. And these teardowns, whether it's a street or a building or, or actually a statue, sometimes they're being done on information that is false. You remember the sort of the false fact stuff that was floating right. around a few years ago? False history, bad history. Right. Well, we think there's something that needs to be done about it. If it's bad history that's leading to a decision, for instance, take the city council of Toronto and the Dundas Street, that's bad history. It well, costs tens of millions of dollars if it goes ahead. Absolutely. And, and uh, what's ridiculous about it, they relied on history which didn't bear out. So, so there needs to be some to change. Why is it important to keep those names? Why well, is it important to keep them going? Well, it's important because, first of all, it is history and it is what it is. So we can't change the history we have. Right. Somebody back some time ago decided it was important to erect a statue to that person to commemorate the historic purpose. For instance, John A. MacDonald, or, or for that matter, Egerton Ryerson, for ma that matter, uh, McGill University, or, or any number of places around here, street names particularly. So what is important is to recognize that there was a historical context, and we must be careful to preserve that historical context and not destroy it by tearing it down. Tough question. Why should some way a lot younger than you and I is going to say, well, why do we need to preserve that? We're moving forward. Well, that does it matter. Uh, yes, yes, it does matter because history matters. Wasn't, wasn't, Churchill always said, uh, if, if you choose to ignore history, you're bound to repeat it. Well, there's an awful lot of those aphorisms that are very accurate. Historical, that's what we're all about. We came about because many of these people were doing things. Take the McDonald incident. Yep. McDonald created Canada. Without McDonald, there is no Canada. We would have been the 51st state, well, probably some 21st state back then. And that's the big difference, it really is the difference. Gordon Walker, thank you, and I hope you succeed. Three minutes. Justin Trudeau is now on the record as saying that social media is destabilizing, and he wants to bring in censorship to determine what can be put on and not on social media. That is wrong. Please support this station. And please add your address so I can write you a letter and thank you for supporting freedom of speech.